Hello, and welcome to our hot item on the fair share topic. Today, it's my pleasure to welcome KS Park, professor at Korea University Law School and co-founder and director of OpenNet Korea. The reason? A recent joint statement on network fees by the European Telecommunications Network Operators Association, ETNO, and the Korea Telecommunications Operators Association in which they claim the introduction of network fees in South Korea has had positive effects. Well, let's hear what KS Park has to say. The joint letter from uh, Korea Telecom Operator Association and uh, European counterpart uh, talks about uh, how internet is fast uh, in Korea. Uh, the opponents of a uh, fair share deal or sender pay rule uh, never said that internet is slow in Korea. What we said it was that internet is expensive. Um, and also, uh, I'll describe some. I'll describe later how it is slow uh, in some of the uh, websites because of the cost issues. Um, net neutrality is not uh, about the speed of the internet. Uh, it is about um, people's freedom to choose uh, whatever contents and website that they want to uh, access to. And that is the central uh, value enshrined in 2015 uh, EU uh, open, net, uh, open Internet uh, regulation. Um, the freedom to choose uh, means that uh, all developers and content providers will also have a chance uh, to be chosen. Um, and the sender pay rule or fair share deal uh, or mandatory paid peering, whichever way you cut it, as long as it taxes the act of uh, making content available online, it will uh, interfere with uh, people's uh, freedom to choose because um, the, it, it will be prohibitively expensive for content to be made to make itself available to people. Um, the more people choose that content, the author of the content have to pay more to the telecom operator. Um, it is basically taxation on speaking online. If uh, speaking includes um, making available videos, uh, audios, or files, whatnot. So that's what's happening in Seoul, Korea. Uh, the sender pay rule, uh, they call it um, mutual settlement in the letter. Um, mutual settlement uh, is a um, euphemism for this system of uh, uh, requiring the uh, ISP uh, receiving uh, data to charge uh, the other ISP uh, sending data. And in the letter, they are saying it doesn't apply to content providers, but uh, certainly the impact is shown through the market because if uh, ISPs have to pay money to one another, whenever they host popular contents, um, because uh, uh, being popular, those contents will be sought by other ISPs. So the ISP hosting the popular content will have to pay other ISPs for sending data over to uh, those ISPs. Then um, there will be this incentive for ISPs to host popular contents and that rule uh, has increased, that sender pay rule has uh, increased the uh, transit fees that content providers have to pay in Seoul 
um, so high that in 2017, which is uh, one year after Sender Peru was instituted, in 2017, survey by Telegeography showed that um, one Mbps uh, monthly price in Seoul was three dollars and seventy-seven cents, while it was a uh, forty-five cents in Paris. So, like eight times more expensive in Seoul, and that trend continued to. 2021, uh, where the same uh, the same uh, company, Telegeography, uh, found that the transit fee in Seoul was eight times London and ten times Frankfurt. And you can see the impact on the uh, internet ecosystem. Um, the domestic video service uh, Watcha. Um, was paying 10% of its revenue as internet access fee in 2021. And the COVID uh, infection uh, location announcement app, which was a, a free app uh, operated for public interest, the operator uh, openly complained that uh, the app was not fully functioning due to a uh, transit fee that was too high. And also, um, this uh, 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 transit fees, these high transit fees, uh, also have impact through comparison on the paid peering, the rare paid peering fees that um, the Korean ISPs charge overseas content providers. Uh, and Twitch, the popular uh, game, uh, game video website, they intentionally degraded services in Korea because, um, the, uh, because the data uh, going, to, uh, going into Korea uh, was uh, charged too high uh, peering fees and you can see that you can see how uh, intentional degradation of uh, uh, resolution uh, what impact that will have on the uh, the game players and uh, broadcasters the individuals who are providing uh, content on the twitch platform a lot of them, a lot of uh, um, a, a lot of people who are uh, showing uh, games on Twitch left uh, the platform because uh, they, they could not show the uh, high resolution video to uh, Korean audience. So um, that is the uh, impact, and that really. Uh, has uh, suppressed a development of uh, small to mid-sized contents in Korea um, and uh, content providers in Korea. It is uh, um, um, and and that has not been addressed at all uh, by the letter, uh, the joint letter of uh, Korean and European network operators. Another argument made by the letter is that the, um, the payment obligations will be imposed only on uh, large traffic mm -hmm. generators. Um, however, uh, a lot of uh, people make living on those uh, mm -hmm. large traffic generator platforms. Um, many uh, YouTubers, uh, many small, small to mid-sized businesses, um, they uh, they advertise their businesses. They uh, receive income directly uh, through uh, those platforms. And once the uh, once those platforms are charged money for making uh, those individuals and small to mid-sized businesses contents online, then these are profit companies. They are bound to shift the burden over to uh, the users, and that will not 
uh, you know, that will uh, suppress the uh, growth of uh, these uh, individuals and small to mid-sized uh, businesses. Thank you, Professor Park. I think it's it's very useful to have an overview of the realities behind the numbers mm -hmm. in, in the letter. So um, summarizing it, um, it, it, it's not just about network quality, network coverage. It's about choice by users. Right. It's about uh, market dynamics in Korea. And yeah. the picture you've just painted is certainly not one I think we're looking forward to having uh, in mm -hmm. Europe. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your time and uh, let's hope that the European policymakers are listening 